Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Marker. I'm the founder and executive director of the Cheetah Conservation Fund, and welcome to Cheetah Conservation Fund here in Namibia. Uh, this is our center, and I'd like to actually show you around. This is going to be sort of a walking tour. You're going to learn more about our cheetahs and livestock, our livestock guarding dogs, and some of the research that's going on at the center. So come on and join me, and let's have a lot of fun. This is Dominic, and he is a two-year-old cheetah and we're ready to do what we call a cheetah run. All of our cheetahs that are orphaned here at our sanctuary get to go out and run and exercise every day. He's gonna run behind a mechanical lure. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about the run and I'm gonna tell you a lot more about what's going on here at Cheetah Conservation Fund Namibia. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to help feed the cheetahs today. Uh, we're exercising them. They're going to be running behind the truck here. We feed from the back of the truck, but this is another way that we give them exercise. Exercise is critically important to captive animals. For cheetahs, they need to run. It's very important for their health. So here's dinner. Hi, my name is Carmo Flati. I'm the Livestock Guardian Dog Manager, the Small Dog Program Manager here at the Cheetah Conservation Fund. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you a bit about our Livestock Guardian Dogs that we have here. Uh, so our Livestock Guardian Dogs are part of what we call our Model Farm, and it's one of our main conservation programs here to help mitigate the human-wildlife conflict here in Namibia to help protect the cheetah. Uh, so the livestock guarding dogs, uh, they're a breed of dog called the Anatolian Shepherd or the Kangal Shepherd, and they originate from Turkey. Uh, and as you can see, we've got mum here. Her name is Susie. She's a four-year-old female. And then we have her son, which is a four-week-old male called Calife. Uh, and so these guys, uh, when he is old enough, he will go out and start protecting farms across Namibia. Most of the dogs, the ones you might see in the background behind me, these are our breeding dogs here. We've got Bella, the noisy one there. Uh, and so these guys, they can reduce your livestock losses by 80% here in Namibia. Uh, and not only are they good working dogs, but they are nice and cute too. Uh, you won't be able to get this experience with them, unfortunately, because they are working dogs. Our females do get a bit more attention, uh, but these guys, they need to be uh, as least habituated to humans as possible. Uh, so we don't spend too much time with them, but you will get to see them here. We'll go take you on a tour. Uh, you'll get to see them up close to the fence, uh, uh, and you'll just see how magnificent and big these guys are. I'm quite a tall fella, so I'd make these guys look a little bit smaller, but these are big dogs and they do a very good job of what they do. This is um, Armos and he's our main goat herder and dog whisperer. Our Anatolian Shepherd is in there and we're going to open the gate and all the goats are going to come out and this is what we do every morning. So, okay, Armos, if you're ready. Yeah, I want to go back there. So the dog goes out to protect the livestock and um, we save cheetahs but what we try to do is to teach farmers how to best manage their livestock. So we run a model farm, we have a large herd and flock and with this we um, have lots of dogs, we breed the dogs, give them to farmers. Our dogs work actively to take care of the cheetahs and the livestock here. They bark loudly and they keep predators away. So I don't often come out here. When I am here at the center, I check out the goats every day. I work really close with Armos and our staff, making sure that they're okay. 
This afternoon, we're going to start vaccinating some of the goats. We deal with vaccination, swift trimming, and I do most all of that with the team, with the veterinary team and our staff who take care of the animals. Uh, we've got one pregnant dog right now. Uh, another one's been breeding, and it's breeding time for all of our goats as well. So it's a fun time here at CCF. Okay, walking through our center, we've got this great sign. Um, we're based in Ochivarongo. Ochivarongo globally is called Cheetah Town. So it actually means we're um, a happy place or the place where the fat cattle grow. So here in Namibia, we deal with cheetahs, livestock farmers, human wildlife conflict all the time. And that's a lot of what our programs are about. So we're also gonna talk about our livestock guarding dogs too. But follow me on into our research center. Okay, I'm in the ecology office here. This is Carolina and she's our chief ecologist. Uh, this is our property up here and we do game counts on a regular basis. We've got a game count going on in the next couple days, which will go throughout all of this area, which is approximately 100,000 acres. Uh, at the same time, we are doing a lot of camera trapping and this is a camera trap that just came in. Um, Carolina said, ah, a brown hyena just got a hold of it. We've got throughout all of our property here, um, camera traps. We've been surveying this area around the Waterberg National Park where we put camera traps. These are densities of what uh, many of our predator species are um, and what our game counts look like when we are doing our tracks routes. So this will be pretty much our next week. We use all of our volunteers. We've got interns here. Of course, a lot of people have gone back to the US or Europe because of the um, COVID-19 issues that we're dealing with. I do wanna point out that everything that we continue to do does take funding. And so we always appreciate funding That's to help sure. our work go forward. Yep. So we've got um, about 60 camera traps out on our reserve. We use these things, which are a um, collar, uh, each shepherd, and they go on to, this is a cattle one. Yep. And if a uh, predator chases, the cow, a light goes off and a high pitched sound and we're testing these as well. Yep. <laughs> Dairy herd has just come back in. They'll be milked in the next um, hour. They're ruminating right now. Uh, I'm an old goat farmer and um, we use these livestock guarding dogs. So you saw them go out this morning they protect the livestock by barking really loudly. We breed them, we bred and placed over 650 of these dogs in the past 25 years. Uh, and we put them out with farmers and we do a lot of farmer training. We practice what we preach. We preach that a good farmer can manage their livestock by having like a livestock guarding dog, good corralling, having a herder. And from that, you can live in harmony with predators. So we're a model farm here at the Cheetah Conservation Fund. Come and have some ice cream. Our creamery is called Dancing Goat Creamery. Our goats dance because they're protected by livestock guarding dogs, which are saving cheetahs. And I'm gonna celebrate and have some of our great ice cream. Come and join me. Well, hi, welcome to our Babson house. And I'd like to introduce you to Bianca and she runs our tourism here at hi. the Cheetah Conservation Fund. <laughs> hi, we're gonna show you around in our Babson house. It's, it's our a luxury accommodation. Follow us, come on. Okay, here is the Babson house. This is the living room. Um, it's wonderful taken care of by our most beautiful, I think, um, whatever it is, <laughs> the living room, dining room, um, two beautiful rooms. We'll show you quickly into um, both of them, I think. This is the twin bedroom, um, either for a family of four who don't mind to share um, beds or then single persons. And then lovely bathrooms looks like, so we think ours are very nice here at the Babson. Hi, and this is our master bedroom. Um, yeah, we also have a safe for all your safe keepings. We also have um, some, a fan, a ventilator to keep you nice and cool during the night. Um, come and enjoy.
It's a lovely deck here and we've got a great view of the water bird and of course the cheetahs around here and our main center is right up top. Birds are chirping in the background so it's just a lovely lovely place to spend an afternoon, a couple days, bring your family and enjoy the uh, Babson House and Cheetah Conservation Front with us. Okay, this is the Cheetah View Lodge and it was actually dedicated in 2017 by um, her, uh, the Princess Michael of Kent, who is our international royal patron from the UK. So come on into the Cheetah View Lodge. We welcome people here. We've got five rooms where you can stay. This is our lovely restaurant. Um, and it's just so beautiful to sit here and enjoy not only the beautiful pictures on the wall, but also just the amazing view that we have. We have one of the most beautiful views, I think, in the entire world. I'm very partial because this is the Waterbird Plateau. And that's our backyard, or we call it the Cheetah's Garden. And you, from here you can see the entire length of the Waterbird, which is a national park. And our land borders onto the national park. So as a conservancy also here in the Waterbird, we actually are the, the caretakers, um, the stewards of all of the land around. Driving through the uh, Little Serengeti and we've got all kinds of springbok over on our left hand side and a bunch of oryx. Very, very active place. There's some jackal trotting through here. Um, there's a bunch of oryx and heart of beast on the right hand side. Here we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed our quick tour of our center here and seeing um, some of the staff and some of the animals and what's going on. With this pandemic that's going on right now with the coronavirus, I'm not going to be coming to the United States this spring. So I won't be able to see many of our friends and supporters. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. We're trying very hard to stay safe here. Uh, but with that, we also continually need your help. So please think of ways that you can keep helping save the cheetah, help our work continue. Um, think about things that you can do there locally, although we're all supposed to be in lockdown at this point in time. So all I can do is thank you um, and ask you to continue your ongoing support for the work that we're doing. Look forward to seeing you, I hope, in the fall um, and take very good care. Thank you for your ongoing help to help us save cheetahs.